Hello you beautiful peeps, my name is John and welcome to my channel. You may know these two cars from previous videos of mine. This is the W Toys K989 and the W Toys 284131. What they're doing with these names, I do not know. Because essentially, these two cars are, well, they're pretty much identical, I'll be honest with you. But I bought some upgraded parts and I wanted to fit them. Specifically, I have a carbon fiber chassis kit. I have upgraded differentials and I have upgraded shocks. I'll explain why I only have two in a moment. So I just need to decide which car I'm going to upgrade. I love the rally car. I do. I'm a big, big WRC rally fan, but we will pick this car for now because I think that this one, uh, just when it comes to the suspension, is a bit naff compared to that one. Uh, one thing I did want to sort of just quickly say is my logo. A lot of you have seen my logo, and you're all, uh, there's not all of you, but some of you have said that the uh, design's a bit weird. You couldn't quite figure it out. So I just pointed out something to them. Have a look in the John. That's actually a picture of a Shelong Q903. And then the Robinson is a W Toys 144001. And then at the bottom here, you've actually got a uh, drone which I really should remove and get a new design for that. So it's actually RC cars in there. So once they've seen that and I pointed that out, they're like, oh, now it makes sense. So there you go, I thought I'd do that. So I'm not gonna do all of these upgrades at the same point because the video would be far too long. So today I am doing just the shocks, upgraded shocks. Now I bought a pack of shocks and two arrived and I'm like, but what, two? There's four on each car, why only two? Oh, uh, well, we specified clearly it said two. So I ordered two more, quite frustratingly, and they never arrived. And of course, as you know, uh, with uh, these Chinese sellers, unfortunately, you have to wait an extremely long time, not so much for delivery lately, specifically AliExpress are delivering within sort of two to three weeks, but the actual uh, complaints time because you need to wait for a full 90 days. So I'm just going to go on with these upgraded shocks. So. Are they oil filled? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. They are not at all. In fact, I'm going to take one apart now to show you how they are upgraded. So I will do, take that part off. Come on, thank you. Be very careful as that releases the spring and then I will just unscrew the top. So. This is the upgraded shocks. So the only th the way I'm seeing that it's upgraded is it's metal rather than the, uh, I believe, yeah, it's plastic on the cars currently. Uh, may I suggest, if you do not have some of these, these are actually, they're called medical forceps, and I used them so much when I was younger for the airfix kit and the early days of my RC experiences, because you can lock them and they hold very strongly. And I'm specifically talking about uh, when you've got a nut, for example, quite far down, all of my other uh, pliers and whatnot, they slip. But once these grip, they really truly grip. So you can get down low and screw the bolt in very easily. So links for these will be in the description below for those that wish to pick it up. So I need to put this back together, but what I am going to do is use a little bit of thread lock because I don't want this to come apart. Put it back together. I need to be careful with the thread lock that I don't in fact, uh, you know, ruin the whole thing. So, like so. And that's the top part. So I'll put a smidgen. Like so. Tighten it up. Now, to spring has to go back on. Pull the spring upwards. Come on. those in place while that is holding I will just put a little bit of thread lock on the bottom maybe more than I needed but there you go it should run should run down the thread and 
and then tighten it up. I need to make sure that they are both nice and straight, which it wouldn't matter because that spins around anyway, John. Oh. Right, so that's one done. I will quickly do the other one while we are here. So I'm obviously just going to push on with installing two uh, because I, I can't wait any longer for the uh, other two to arrive. Nice, they are now done. So how easy are these to install? Well, from what I've seen, ish, <laughs> I don't know. I've not taken it apart. I've not looked myself. So these are the parts that actually come with the kit. So you have, I assume, one at the top, one at the bottom, and the washers, but which side the washers go on, I do not know. Nicely done, John. Spread it everywhere. So I, uh, I think job number one is to get one of these shocks off. Should I do front or rear? Front. We shall do front. Front, 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 front. Can I get in there? It's just that one screw there that is nicely coming out like so, then underneath there. Ooh. Just being a bit careful to see how this all comes apart. There's actually a ball joint there. And that's not really a ball joint. So that's a, hmm. I mean, I know it's plastic, but it's not broken as of yet. Anyway, let's see how this goes together, shall we? I wonder if that ball joint would go in. This kit, let's have a quick look. Need to be a little bit careful. Definitely not. No, 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 no. Okay, so we will work on the same theory. I believe that it has to go bolt, washer, like so. Nice, so which side should we do first? I think we do the bottom. A lot of room, is there? Of course. I'm just going to take off this bumper here because it's right in the way. I think I may have to take it off from there. I'm not sure. I'm not, I've, I've never taken these cars apart. Never had to. They've been rock solid. Now that's just for the lights, isn't it? just for the lights. See, goes to show how often I've taken these cars apart. Keep those two safe. Does that come off now? No, it's fixed there. Right, I'm just going to have to make do with the space that I have. Interesting to know all of these things. So, bottom. gonna be so difficult. How can I do this?
Okay. Reason I was looking is, as you can see, I thought, well, that's weird. That one's all the way in and that one's out. Well, it's obviously because that's just fallen off the ball joint there. So tighten that up a little bit more. Nice. Okay, now onto the top. This is going to be actually quite difficult as well because I don't have the angle there. The only way that you can undo or get this off is by taking this top deck off. So let's hope that I can avoid to do that for now. I don't know how I'm going to get to this. I'm very lucky that these bend somewhat, so nice. That one is now installed. Actually looks quite good. Take the uh, other one off. Nice. So hard to tell if there's an improvement with the suspension on these cars because the travel is not exactly very much, is it? The back's jumping back up. The front's not. Right, okay, well, definitely gonna be making sure that I get another set and a set for that car as well, because I actually think that is an improvement and it actually looks quite good in my opinion. So next video will be, what do you reckon? Yes, we'll do the chassis and the top plate on the next video. Uh, FYI, in the pack, there is also a, another carbon fiber piece and a switch which I don't know because there is no switch that I can see because these are turned on like that there, but that may be for a different model. So there you go, ladies and gents. It really, oops, there you go. It really was that simple-ish. A little bit finickety, but just make sure that you have a good, nicely pointed screwdriver like so. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're alerted for the next videos concerning these cars. Um, I am actually looking for other upgrades for these. So I don't know if I said before, these shells can be swapped across as long as you buy the mounting points as well, but I'll see what I can find online. So take care of yourselves, hit the like button, stay safe. Bye-bye.